Hey everybody, my name is Sam, and this is not normally where I film my videos. Um, we are in my dining room today because this is not a book video anyway, and I needed use of a table, which I do not have in the spare bedroom where I keep my books and where I normally film. So we're just gonna hang out here with this background, because why not change it up every once in a while? Uh, today I actually really need to clean out my purse because I'm going to be switching over to a smaller one for, uh, for the summer in general, I think. Um, but also just because I get tired of carrying the same one all the time, so I just want to switch it up. And, uh, so I decided why not film it and do, like, a what's in my bag video. Uh, because I'm, like, nosy as fuck, and I like watching these, so... I thought maybe some of you might like to as well. Eh, eh, maybe? I don't know. Um, but anyway, so I'm just going to do that. Uh, also, this will help hold me accountable and make sure I, like, actually take all the shit out of my purse because a lot of the time when I switch bags, I will just, like, take out the things that I need and then just leave a bunch of random receipts and crap floating around in the bottom. And then when I go to use this purse again, I'll be like, why didn't I clean this? You know, and I never learn. Um, so, yeah, let's just do this. Um, you guys can see what, like, a disgusting hoarder I am, at least when it comes to my purse. Like, my house is normally pretty clean, my life is normally not terribly cluttered, but my bag is a hot fucking mess. Um, so this is my purse, or as my brother likes to tell me, my luggage. It's massively large. Um, on the front, it has a Makuza pin, so the Magical Congress of the United States. A friend of mine actually bought this for me for Christmas this year. She's the sweetest. I'm going to take it off because I don't want to forget it's here. Um, the purse itself I bought from Target like eight or nine years ago. I've been using it on and off since then. The strap is actually from a different bag because the strap that was originally on this one ripped. That's how old this purse is. Um, it is generally pretty hefty like fake leather though. Anyway, there are several smaller pockets and one larger pocket. So I guess I'll just start with the front small pockets because why not um okay you guys can see some of the like weird shit I just keep in my bag this is a clothes pin um I buy these at the dollar store in like large quantities because I use them as chip clips um because buying actual chip clips is a waste of money these work just as well and you can get you know, like a hundred of them for a dollar or something like that. So there's one in my bag because I think I probably had it sealing something shut at work and then I finished the bag or whatever, but I have no idea how long that's been in there. Um, and then I also have, this is funny, you guys will laugh, this is a dreidel. <laughs> uh, the same coworker friend who bought me the Makuza pin actually um, brought in a bunch of like Hanukkah goodies this year because she's from a Jewish family. And uh, she gave us each a little dreidel, and this happened to be the purse that I was using back in December, so that happens to be where this dreidel landed. And actually, I switched from and then back to this purse in the interim, but this is one of the things that just, like, got left behind, and then when I switched back to this purse, I was like, oh, that's in here. Weird. Um, Alright, next I have two lipsticks. They're both by Lipstick Queen. These are both, like, color-changing ones. So this one's called Frog Prince. Lipstick Queen is my favorite brand of lipstick. I love them. Um, these are really hydrating. This one's like a weird freaky green in the tube, and then when you put it on your mouth, it's uh, like a rosy pink. And then this one is called Morning Sunshine. I couldn't remember. I knew it had sunshine in it, but it's called Morning Sunshine, and then in the tube, it's like gross. Sorry. It's like yellow, and then it turns into a peachy color when you put it on your face. Um, I really like these because it's like a lighter wash of color and when I wear lipstick to work I don't like to have to worry about it too much and if that starts to wear off it's not that noticeable. Um, plus they're like really moisturizing and I have really dry skin and lips so they're nice for me. This is cuticle oil, dry skin, dry cuticles. I don't like hangnails so I try to keep them moisturized. Um... <laughs> I actually mixed the oil that's in there myself, but then I put it in this old, like, squeezy tube from a different cuticle oil because uh, it was more portable that way. Uh, this is a glasses repair kit. It's got, like, a little magnifier in it and then extra screws and a tiny screwdriver. Um, 
I'm like blind as fuck without my glasses, so I need to be able to do something about it if a lens pops out, so I keep this in my purse. Um, and then I've got a whole bunch, well not a whole bunch, I have two pens. This one is just like a black pen. It's a Pentel Energel X. Um, I really like these because they're really, really fast drying and I'm left-handed and I don't like smearing ink everywhere. This is a Sarasa, I think Sarasa Vintage, that's like this line of colors. This is like a grayish blue when you write with it. I really, really like this because it's like businessy, but it's still kind of a fun color. And again, I really like the Sarasas because they dry really, really fast and I don't like smearing ink everywhere. Um, this is a highlighter. <laughs> uh, it's a dry highlighter, which is possibly the weirdest thing in the universe. Um, it's like crayon texture. I don't know if you can see. It's like really waxy, and it's not actually really dry when you put it on the paper. It's kind of sticky. I'm not a huge fan of this highlighter. I got it in like a set that I bought. It came as like a an extra part of it. Um, so I'm just trying to use it up, but I probably won't buy that in the rest of the colors or anything, and, you know, whatever. It's a highlighter. It highlights things. Do I need a highlighter in my purse? No, not really. Um, but that's all that is in that pocket, and then in the other front pocket, I have my keys. Keys. Uh, this is some fun keychains on here. I have my family crest. Uh, my husband bought this for me when we were still just dating because I love my last name and it's been sort of a running joke. Actually, I didn't take his name when we got married. His family like flipped their shit about it. Um, this is like a keychain Funko Pop thing and it's Jack Skellington. His legs actually snapped off, um, so he's broken, but I still leave him on here. Uh, these are a bunch of like rewards cards, Walgreens, Sally Beauty, Goodwill my gym membership that I don't even have anymore, but I still have the card. Uh, figure that one out. And my key version of my library card. Um, and then I have this little Lego penguin keychain. And then on here I just have keys to like my house, my parents' house, um, a friend of mine's house because I have his spare and my car, you know, standard key things. Um, also in here I have bunch of other crap. Uh, USB drive. This actually had my wedding photos on it originally. I think I took them all off of here. Um, and so I just have it in case I need a flash drive for any reason. Doesn't come up too often, but you never know. This is off-brand Claritin. I don't know why that's in there, but like it normally goes in a different part of my bag, but whatever. And this is Alka-Seltzer cold and cough formula. Uh, my husband can't swallow pills, so our cold medicine is generally in a drinkable format. Um, Alka-Seltzer works pretty well, so keep that. I haven't been sick in a while, so again, not sure why it's in my purse, but whatever. That's fine. Um, let's go on to some of the other smaller pockets that are, like, inside of here. This is a dime. Let's see how much, like, random change I find in my purse. Here's a bunch more. This is... Some quarters that I have for if I need to plug a parking meter because I work downtown in my city and downtown means you can't park anywhere for free. When I'm at work I pay for monthly parking but uh, just in case I have to stop anywhere and it's before like the meters become free for the night I just like to have quarters just in case. Um, and then in the next small pocket I have a bottle opener because you never know when you're going to need to open a bottle. That doesn't say anything about me. Um, actually, I think that's left over from like going to a movie in the park. This is my work ID. Um, this is an empty package uh, that had a wet wipe for cleaning my glasses in it. I don't know why I still have the trash in here, but I think this is the wipe that used to be in there. Like I used it, and then I think I didn't have a garbage to throw it in, so I like just tossed it in here. Whatever, we all keep garbage in our purses sometimes. Don't worry about it. This is an off-brand fidget cube. I get very, very fidgety in uh, social situations. I like to keep various bits and bobs for fidgeting in my bag. I have a cube. I've got a couple more things in here, I believe, that we will probably come across momentarily. Ah, uh, yes, this is a fidget spinner. It's also 
a broken fidget spinner, like one of the ends popped off. It's in here. Um, so that's kind of messed up, but it's there. Um, I have a little list that I made of video ideas when I started my channel. I've been crossing them off as I do them. Um, I like to make lists of things. Normally I keep them in my bullet journal, but I did not have it with me that day, so you know. Um, this is a set of page flags that are just like regular colored arrow ones. I've been using them to mark up one of the books that I'm reading right now because I think I might do a review about it. So that's in here. This is uh, like some crystals that one of my old co-workers bought for me as a bridal shower gift when I was getting married um, because it's supposed to bring harmony in personal relationships and so she got it for me as like a good luck in your new life as a married person thing and I thought it was cute. She got two, one for me and one for my husband, but he just kind of was like, that's goofy. Uh, so they're just in my purse. I didn't know where else to keep them. Um, this is more garbage. More random change. This is a half dollar. Don't see too many of those around. I'm assuming I got it as change from a machine or something. Um, that's it for the smaller pockets. So we're going into the big center pocket now, so, uh, strap in, it's gonna be a bumpy ride. Um, this is a little, like, pouch. I use this to carry feminine products around. Um, I'm not gonna go into too much detail about that, because I probably don't need to, but that's where I carry feminine products. Um... I've also got those Wuthering Heights page flags in here. I just was like, if I want to use them for something, I'd like to have them with me, but they're, like, too cute, and I'm, like, scared to use them. Figure that one out, because I sure as shit haven't. I have... This is, like, a little sleeve for a coffee cup. My coworker knitted this. Uh, it's green. I also have a purple and blue one that she made, but this is nice for if you get, like, a to-go cup of coffee from somewhere and you forget to grab one of those cardboard ones. Plus this is way less wasteful, but it keeps your hand from like, you know, scalding off. <laughs> uh, this is a hairbrush. I don't even brush my hair really. I don't know why this is in here. Sometimes my husband needs it because he, his hair is longer than mine right now, but um, I don't know, it's just in there. I used to always carry one when my hair was longer and I think maybe this is just like a carryover kind of habit. Uh, next I have this little strawberry, which is actually a reusable grocery bag that, like, folds into itself. Let me just open her up. This one is blue. I got, like, a 10-pack of these from Amazon for, like, $5 or something like that. I like to keep one in my glove compartment and one in my purse just in case I need to stop at the store after work. Um, and I don't want to, like, waste a plastic bag. Um... This is a stress fish. It's like a squeezy stress ball, but it's a fish. Uh, my friend bought this for me. There's a funny story behind it, but it's probably only funny to the people who were there, so I'm not going to go into that, but this was a birthday gift last year, and I have held on to it ever since. I have my cell phone. It has a case on it that I got from Redbubble that has the VFDI from the series of unfortunate events on it. Uh, I also have the VFDI tattooed on my ankle. I told you guys it's one of my favorite series. Don't judge me. <laughs> I have... This is a glasses case. This has my sunglasses in it. They are a prescription because uh, I can't see without my glasses. But I also hate the sun. Um, I got these from Zenny Optical. Um, Zenny.com. They're... Uh, Pretty nice, they're pretty hefty, they were not that expensive, um, and they came with this handy dandy case, which I wouldn't care about for sunglasses necessarily, because I would probably just toss them in my bag, that's what I've always done historically, but this is useful, um, because I obviously need somewhere to keep my regular glasses when I'm wearing my sunglasses, I really don't want to like just toss these in my bag, they were a little bit more expensive, and I don't want to replace them, uh... 
I have another one of those little grocery bags in here. I think because I was carrying something to work and then I didn't need it to bring the stuff home. So I just like refolded it and put it in there. But honestly with me, who knows? Um, got this little bag. This was an Ipsy bag when I was still getting those, which I don't anymore because I switched to buying only cruelty-free uh, beauty products and Ipsy doesn't really have that as an option so I stopped getting the subscription but I do still have a couple of the bags and I really like this one because it's like a little galaxy uh, this is where I just like keep like medicine and stuff um, so I've got some naproxen in here because I get migraines and this is one of my prescriptions that I have for them I have a little travel size perfume this is um, tea by commodity which is my favorite scent it smells just like iced tea i love it so much um i've got some eye drops that are for like eye strain from being on the computer all the time i've got some more fake claritin in here for allergy purposes it's like a crap load of that in here i apparently ripped all Ooh. i dropped that on the floor i don't want my cats to eat it I apparently uh, ripped apart all of the little individual packs for some reason. Um, this is Dayquil, leftover probably from the last time I was sick. This is another like off-brand, like Walgreens brand cold medicine. This is like a random assortment of blister packs in here. Sorry about that. <laughs> um, this is like off-brand Sudafed. When I get sick, I go all in. I just like to have options, you know? This is a travel, like, mirror. It's got Dorothy on it from The Wizard of Oz. And this was one of those ones that had, like, the magnifying mirror on one side and the regular mirror on the other. But the magnifying mirror fell out, and I'm fine with that because I never use that side anyway. But um, my mother-in-law bought this for me for Christmas five years ago now or something. It was, like, right after my husband and I started dating. Um, and then this is some Blistex ointment because uh, I think I had a cold sore. Or, like, sometimes I'll use this, which, okay, this might be gross. Sorry if it's too much information. But, like, if I get sick or my allergies are acting up and I'm blowing my nose too much and then I get, like, the chapping along here or, like, under here from Kleenex, I will use this um, on it. It works really, really well. Uh, it actually works a lot better, I think, than, like, Neosporin or anything like that does for that vicinity. So, like that. This is empty now. Um, then I have my Bluetooth earbuds. These are uh, Method by Skull Candy. I really like them. They have these cute little squishy bits that are um, like tie dyed. Um, I like these better than other earbuds just because they fit in my ears really well. And I have a couple of ear piercings that are like inside of my ears, so not every pair of headphones works for me. Um, and these ones do, plus they're Bluetooth, which is really nice because the range is actually large enough that it fits, like, the my entire floor of my office building. So I can, like, leave my phone at my desk and, like, go make copies and still hear my music or my book or whatever. Um, so that's handy. And the battery life on that is something like nine hours, which is pretty good for most relatively affordable Bluetooth headphones. This is a receipt from Discount Liquor. That's, you guys don't need to know about that. <laughs> it's from when I bought this beer, actually. That's my favorite local liquor store. I love them. Um, more change. I'm, like, not a very exciting person. Sorry. Oh, well, I was trying to dig the change out, and then I stumbled upon this uh, ticket stub from when we went to see Black Panther a couple weeks ago. So movie ticket stub. Um, my wallet. It's teal. It's from Walmart because I'm cheap. It has my driver's license in it, which I'm not going to like actually show you guys. And then my debit card, my Starbucks card, a punch card from my actual favorite coffee shop in the universe. Um, just Stone Creek Coffee, which is like, I think specific to Milwaukee and Madison, Wisconsin. Um, the full-size version of my library card, frequent shopper card for the exclusive company where I like to go to buy records, uh, used-up Target gift card, 
gas station reward card, Goodwill gift card, expired American Eagle gift card, old health insurance card, Ulta rewards, and the uh, Wellersheim and Cedar Creek Winery rewards card or case club member card. Basically, if you go to these two wineries that are like sister wineries, um, they and you buy 12 bottles, you get them at a discounted rate. So I, uh, I'll go like once a year and just buy a bunch. And all you have to do is buy a case once a year to maintain your membership. And then you get things like free tours and tastings and uh, invites to special events. And so um, I like wine, so I like to do it. I actually uh, went there for my bachelorette party. Um, and here I also have this little card about like how to respond during an active shooter situation because uh, we had to go through a training for that at work because the world is in a sad state and that's just something they have to train people on. Um, I've also got my Sephora rewards card, full-size Goodwill rewards card, uh, Best Buy gift card that still has like $13 on it, <laughs> uh, health, current health insurance card, you know, exciting stuff that people keep in their wallets. Um, a GNC rewards card. I never shop at GNC. I honestly don't know why I have this. I think I was buying something specific. This is like a little mini flash drive that came with some music loaded on it um, that I have. This is a wallet-sized dental floss because you never know when you're going to need it. Um, some business cards and stuff. What is this? I don't even know what this is. Oh, note I wrote to myself. Probably a different note I wrote to myself. Oh, this is a note my dad wrote me um, to remind me of some stuff that I felt the need to keep in my wallet just in case. Um, movie passes that we bought from a fundraiser. I keep them in my wallet because um, otherwise we will forget where we have them in the house. Warranty information for my headphones. Um, this was a temporary card for that winery case club thing, but um, I got my permanent one, so I don't know why this is still in here. Uh, more movie passes. Expired Target coupons. <laughs> uh, receipt from... Somewhere. Oh, post office. It's a receipt from the post office. I mailed some people, some packages. Um, empty envelopes that used to have Goodwill gift cards in them. A sticky note that I wrote to remind myself of an appointment. And my board game barrister rewards card. Uh, this is where I like to go to buy some puzzles sometimes. I also like to get them from various bookstores, but this place has a bunch of really cool board and card games. And stuff so have their rewards card in here um, and then in this back pouch of my wallet apparently my wallet is just chock full of shit um, I have a pair of earrings don't know why those are in here but they're just like little hoops you can even really see them uh -huh. a ring that I was wearing when my knuckle was too swollen to get my actual wedding ring on. Because uh, I broke my finger back in January, and so I couldn't actually get my wedding ring <laughs> on. But I'm used to wearing something there, so I was wearing a slightly larger ring on that hand as soon as the swelling came down enough to get anything on there, and I didn't have to tape it anymore. Uh, more change. And then... Some little things that I've kept in here that have been precious to me over time. This is a note that my husband wrote me uh, three or four months after we started dating. It's real cute. I keep it with me for when I'm sad and I need a little pick-me-up. Feel free to make fun of me in the comments. This is a note from uh, somebody I used to work with on her last day. She made these cute little like calligraphy notes for people. So I keep it. Um... A note in here from somebody else that I'm actually uh, not going to keep in here anymore. But I'm just gonna 
Do, 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 do. My wallet. Um, what else? Still more change. It is so much change just like floating around. And I think it's because my work pants don't have pockets. So I just like toss change when I get it in my purse. And then it just floats to the bottom and I never find it again. Um, and then would I even be a booktuber if I didn't have at least one book in my purse? But I actually have two. Um, this is The Bell Jar by Sylvia Plath. I'm a little more than halfway through this right now. I'm marking it up because I think I might do a review on it. Even though I already know I love this book, I've got some things I want to say, and this is the first time I've read it in a long time, and I also don't see a lot of talk about it on YouTube, so I thought, why don't I make a video? Um, and then this is A Magical Match by Juliet Blackwell. This is a witchcraft mystery that my friend and I are reading together because we saw it when we were at a bookstore and we thought... It looked funny. <laughs> um, more change. Change abound. should count this change and be like, how much money do I just have floating in the bottom of my purse? Um, receipt from Half Price Books. From... Um, oh, from the day I went and uh, sold a bunch of stuff to them and then immediately bought several more things. <laughs> um, then I've got some hand cream. This is hand food from Soap and Glory. I like this hand cream a lot. I like the other scent better, but uh, they don't make that in the big size. At least not that I've seen. Um, I've also got, uh, this is a little cow. <laughs> this is actually like a stopper for a to-go coffee cup. Um, I like the cows. I didn't need a stopper, but I took it anyway because I like to use them to decorate things. Um, and then I clearly never did that. More change. And then some more random garbage and more change. Lots of change, lots of garbage. Uh, receipts. Random crap. That was actually not as messy as I thought it would be, to be completely honest. But now my purse is empty. She's cleaned out, um, so I can put this back in my closet now and switch to a different bag. Uh, let me know if this was the most boring what's in my bag video you've ever seen, or uh, let me know what some of the like weird stuff you have in your bag is. Let me know if you guys are cool with seeing some of this non-book stuff from time to time, because I can talk about random things with the best of them. Uh, like this video if you like it, subscribe, all that jazz. Have a great day. Bye.